During its prime, however, Family Guy was quite possibly the funniest show on television. You see, Meg, you're what they call a practice girl. Shh, I know you're into me. And Steve. if you weren't before, you are now. Hey. Because you're intrigued by this moment. Go on. What's good, Dark Knight Gang? I'm Neptune. Hey, bro, today I'm about to react to a video titled Family Guy vs. American Dad. Oh, this is about to be fire. We're going to compare Family Guy versus American Dad, see which one is better. Me personally, I think American Dad is better. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Family Guy is hilarious, but their comedy is a little bit more like outrageous. You know what I'm saying? American Dad, they're hilarious and their comedy, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just better. <laughs> I'm ready to hop into the video. Shout out to the gang. Everybody have a good day. Have a great day. As you can tell, I'm in a chill mood, bro. I'm chilling. Let's watch this video. See what's up. Yeah. Let's go. We kindly ask all giant chickens to stay out of this showdown. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And in this installment of Versus, we'll be pitting Family Guy against American Dad. Stan, I need $50. They're selling a biopsy of Celine Dion's uterus on eBay. The hell kind of dog is that? I was gonna ask the same thing. In this installment of Versus, we're looking at Seth MacFarlane's two most popular animated sitcoms to determine which is his crowning achievement. Meg tells a story that makes you want to blow your brains out. Stewie just sits there, and Chris is always leaving his Russian mice around. Round one, characters. The Griffins put a twisted spin on traditional family archetypes with a talking dog, a diabolical baby, and a cynical edge. Ah, uh, smoking. How does a boy like that go so wrong? Well, I live in a crummy neighborhood. The Brady's? Oh, hell yeah. They got robbers, thugs, drug dealers. Yeah, you name it. You folks want some pancakes? No, thank you. See, that's the worst we got is uh, Jemima's witnesses. In addition to the now iconic Griffins, <laughs> Quahog is populated by no shortage of scene-stealing residents like Quagmire, uh... Joe, and Cleveland, the latter of whom had a short-lived spinoff. Oh, hey, Cleveland. Hi. Oh. Wait, don't you have a show to do? Oh, that's right. Throughout the years, however, the characters have grown more one note. Peter turned into an idiotic jerk, while Meg became a human doormat. It's not just the stairs. Meg has spent two days pinned under a roof beam. The one character who continues to demonstrate significant growth is Stewie. Despite hey, perennially being a toddler, Stewie has the layers of a Shakespearean villain, revealing genuine vulnerability between his dry wit and calculating nature. I want to remain what I've always been. Superior, brilliant, special. Oh God, what was I thinking? I'm never going to lift the veil, ever. Nobody will ever know the real me. On the surface, the Smith family may seem like carbon copies of the Griffins, complete with a politically incorrect patriarch, a supportive yet spontaneous matriarch, and a talking pet. Francine, you'll be very careful out there today. We're at Terror Alert Orange. Which means something might go down somewhere in some way at some point in time. So look sharp! Familiarity aside, the Smiths do eventually distinguish themselves as individuals and as a unit. Facts. Everybody has great chemistry, and there isn't a weak link in the main cast. Of course, the MVP is Roger, of whose course. array of disguises makes way for plenty of fun personas. Kevin Bacon! Horse Renoir! Shex Lemino! Clive Trotter! Miles Raymond! The Phantom of the Telegon! Even if character development has taken a back seat in recent seasons of Family Guy, those early years remind us why the Griffins became cartoon all-stars, and Stewie remains McFarlane's answer to Mickey Mouse. Throw in a better supporting cast, and Family Guy narrowly takes this round. No! Winner, Family Guy. He's no! He's Bro. Round one characters, I'm going American Dad. Nobody is better than Roger, in my opinion. I think Roger's the best character, hands down. And plus, like she said, American Dad, everyone has a great personality. You know what I'm saying? They all are hilarious. I'm going American Dad. Storylines. Family Guy isn't the most story-driven show, although there have been some ambitious outings. And Then There Were Fewer is an ingenious murder mystery satire, and The Road 2 episodes are usually anchored by a strong emotional core. We're yeah. off on the road to Rhode Island. And the Star Wars We're ones. We're having the time of our lives. For the most part, however, cutaway gags overshadow the plot, which is acceptable when those jokes hit bullseyes. As of late, though, Family Guy has been striking out more often than not. Since episodes are so reliant on randomness, it feels especially uneven whenever a message is shoehorned in. It's hard to get a point across when so much of the story is dedicated to pointless filler. 
While American Dad is no stranger to nonsensical humor, the jokes usually tie into a flowing narrative mm. and rarely bring the plot to a distracting halt. She Facts. uses her personal drama as an excuse to come here, take over Stan's life, and elbow me out. Threatened by the visiting mother-in-law, cliche. Episodes typically take a traditional sitcom setup, like Stan's mother visiting, and give it a demented twist. The show has delivered several well-crafted satires, such as the 007 send-up Tearjerker and the National Treasure-esque Black Mystery Month. The Monocle! You know what this is? Steve, just give it to me! This isn't child's play! And I'm not a child! Christmas episodes are always a source of creative writing, with the post-apocalyptic Rapture's Delight perhaps being the show's finest half hour. There have even been some involving story arcs, like Jeff being lost in space and the Golden Turd Saga. Clearly, clearly the stories on American Dad are way better. Like I said, Family Guy is hilarious, but like, it, it's just outrageous. It, it's just outrageous. It's in your face. Ah, funny. But yeah, like she said, American Dad, it still has a plot. And it's hilarious with the plot. Jim, look. I like how she Behind said this that. bush, there's a turd made of solid gold. When it comes to most Family Guy episodes, we remember certain jokes, but often forget what the general story was even about. Yeah. American Dad, on the other hand, continues to innovate in the storytelling <laughs> department, making it this round's clear winner. Facts. Winner, American Dad. Look out, Dad! I can't believe there's lava under Washington, D.C. Where do you think all the hot air comes from? Round three, consistency. Mm. If Family Guy had remained canceled following season three, it would be remembered as one of the most consistently hilarious shows ever produced. Show me potato salad. Sometime after its revival though, what was once a nonstop <sighs> laugh riot grew increasingly hit and miss. While modern seasons aren't without their gems, dedicated viewers have to wade through a lot of lazy episodes to get to them. Zero retweets, zero likes. Yeah, viral. American Dad started off slow as the writers attempted to figure out who the characters were and how they should work off each other. Big fan. Agent Duper not only bested your time, he did so with a far better catchphrase. As such, many initially wrote the series off as a lesser Family Guy knockoff. By its third season, however, American Dad found its groove and has shown few signs of slowing down ever since. Let the games begin! Yet, whereas Family Guy frequently phones it in, you never get the sense that American Dad is on autopilot. That is another point for the Smith family. Winner, American Dad. Yes, sir. This will have to do till I can fashion a shiv out of a chicken bone. Round four, Legacy. When people think of shows that set a gold standard Family for adult Guy, animation in legacy. prime time, Family Guy is typically the second cartoon that comes to mind. Yeah. Being second to The Simpsons ain't yeah. half bad, though. You can't just slap a new label on something and call it your own? Well, maybe Duff should be in trouble for, you know, not being that great. Besides, Family Guy did something that The Simpsons never could, get nominated for Outstanding Comedy Series at the Primetime Emmys. While Family Guy has ironically never won an Outstanding Animated Program Emmy, there's no denying that it's had a huge impact on the way we view animation and comedy. Family Guy has been around since 1999, and whenever it's time for the Emmys, they don't give us one. I'm sick of it! Well, I'm not making another episode with The Simpsons. What did that get us? I'll tell you what it got us. More ink for The Simpsons! While American Dad is a worthy addition to the adult animation library, it just wasn't a game-changer like Family Guy. Fast. Which takes this round. Winner! Family Guy. Nah. It's the bee's knees, Meg. Round Family Guy won that round for sure, but I don't think it's tied. Five, humor. It's no secret American that newer Dad. Family Guy episodes rely far too heavily on gross-out and shock humor. During its prime, however, Family Guy was quite possibly the funniest show on television. You see, Meg, you're what they call a practice girl. Sure, the jokes weren't always <laughs> character or story-based, but viewers were laughing too hard to care. Oh. Whenever we need a good laugh, a classic Family Guy cutaway will always get the job done. My god, I'm cooler than that cheetah from the commercials. Bro. If you were to ask any fan what their favorite episode was, chances are they'd say Road to the Multiverse because it plays to the show's greatest strength telling a continuous string of jokes without ever stopping to take a breath. Apparently, this is a universe where everyone has to take a poop right just now. <laughs> okay, uh, Bill, you got those numbers? Yeah, yeah. Okay, just leave them on my desk. Okay, that works out fine for me. Where's your desk? Doug knows where my desk is. Craig, are you good with this? Yeah, that should work out pretty good for me, too. American Dad is a show that not only makes <laughs> you laugh, but bro. also makes you think. I don't... Shh. I know you're into me. And Steve. if you weren't before... You are now, hey. because you're intrigued by this moment. 
Go on. Stan's profession as a CIA agent naturally makes leeway for strong social satire, but American Dad doesn't restrict itself to political jokes. As sharp as American Dad is, we'd be lying if we said it's produced more laugh out loud moments than Family Guy over the years. Yeah, its wit I and guess inventiveness you're right. consistently I leave us smiling, right. but that doesn't always amount to belly laughs. Yeah, this might be yeah, the last I guess big right. TV. It's so deep. I have to get this home. It's so deep. <laughs> ah, so heavy, so splintery. All the weight is distributed so oddly. This is a case that really demonstrates why humor is subjective. If you want a show that's one laugh after another, you'll likely prefer Family Guy, mm -hmm. at least at its peak. And the nominees for Best Actor in a Leading Role are Grover, Bluto from Popeye, A Red Guy, A Boob, and Daniel Day Lewis. And the Oscar goes to A Boob. A Red Guy! If you want a show that's clever, but doesn't always leave you rolling on the ground laughing, American Dad will be more your cup of tea. I agree, that's Since why I like it. Since we're measuring based on LOL moments, though, Family Guy's best jokes have more staying power. Facts. With a final score of three to two. Victory is mine. Nah. Winner, Family Guy. Good video from Watch Mojo. I don't agree though. I would have it three and two the other way. American Dad, but she's completely spot on about the jokes. Oh yeah, Family Guy will have you just like busting out laughing because everything is so ridiculous. But American Dad has a little bit more wit to it. You know what I'm saying? It's a little bit more wittier, and it's like, ah, yeah, I like that. Shout out to the gang. Let me know what you guys thought about this video down in the comments. I'm going to see you all next time. Yo, yo, peace.